Although Baba Vanga died decades ago, the blind Bulgarian prophetess is claimed to have foretold many things, including the fall of the USSR and the rise of US President Barack Obama. From discussions with invisible aliens to counseling world leaders, the legend of Baba Vanga is weird and at times epic. And in this video, we'll dive into the mystic story, find out all about her superhero-like origins, as well as bizarrely, sometimes on point, prophecies. All of this and more coming up in Baba Vanga, Nostradamus of the Balkans. Chapter 1 Little Vangelia Born prematurely to parents Pando and Paraskeva, baby Baba Vanga was lucky to be alive. She came into the world in 1911 and was named Vangelia. Vangelia lived a somewhat normal life during her early years, but a conflict would soon tear her family apart. Her father was drafted into the Bulgarian army during World War I, and tragedy struck when her mother died not long after. Vangelia was barely a toddler and left on her lonesome and at the mercy and charity of strangers and neighbors. Following her father's return, Vangelia's city of Strumica was taken over by Serbia. Her dad was a staunch Bulgarian patriot and was imprisoned for his political activities. The Serbian authorities are said to have taken all that the family owned, leaving them poor and destitute for many years. But that didn't stifle the young Vangelia's happiness. She still played with friends, often pretending to heal them with herbs. Little did she know about the phenomena that she was about to become. Chapter 2 Superhero Origins Legend has it that one day, while Vangelia was playing outside, that she became caught up in the gust of a tornado. The elements threw her far across a field, and when she was found, she was unable to open her eyes. This was a terrifying but defining ordeal in the legend of Baba Vanga. Over time, she would go blind, and where some would give up on life, Vangelia would strive on. Her father did eventually remarry, but her stepmother too would soon perish. After this, she had to take care of her younger siblings and go to work, all while attending a school for the blind, studying braille, and adapting to a life without sight. In the late 1930s, she fell ill with pleurisy. At the time, this was a death sentence, and her medical prognosis was not good. But by some miracle, she survived. And as fate would have it, another global conflict would change Baba Vanga's path yet again. During World War II, she met a soldier who came to a village on a quest for blood. He sought the men who had offed his brother. Vanga saw something in the man and they later married, but she made him swear to abandon his quest for vengeance. The two were wed for 20 years before the man passed away from alcoholism in 1962. Vanga, meanwhile, would live on for years. Chapter 3 Sight of the Prophetess It's hard to discern when Baba Vanga first began predicting futures or where the following prophecies attributed to her came from. Vanga claimed she was told the future by invisible creatures and a piece by the History Channel claims that these may have been actually extraterrestrial beings. What she says she actually saw when she met with an individual was their entire life played out before her like a film, from their conception to their end. Vanka said she could not alter their fate and only tell them what was to come. Bulgarian scientists actually studied Vanka in attempts to find out if what she was saying was legitimate. She was the subject of government research and psychiatric studies. And some of the research around her concluded that her predictions were around 80% correct. The people who sought her counsel ranged from everyday folks to men of power and influence. Chapter 4 Nostradamus of the Balkans 
It is said that in April 1942, Bulgarian Tsar Boris III convened with her. She is reported to have warned him against his allegiance with Germany and the Axis powers in World War II. Bulgaria later switched allegiance to the Soviet Union and the Allies in 1944. The Tsar is said to have sought her counsel several times, as did other high-ranking Bulgarian officials, and word of Vanga's clairvoyance spread throughout Eastern Europe after that, and even the world. Bulgaria at this time was an authoritarian communist nation, so people claiming to see the future were treated suspiciously and sometimes with contempt. Baba Vanga found this out the hard way in 1952, when she predicted the passing of Joseph Stalin. She was said to be temporarily jailed for the prophecy, but was soon shown to be right. Stalin perished that same year. In fact, it is even reported that Soviet Premier Leonid Brezhnev met with Baba Vanga during the early 1960s, and that she warned former Russian President Boris Yeltsin of his poor heart health. He died in April 2007 of congestive heart failure, but politics are not all that she predicted. In the late 1970s, Yugoslav entertainer Silvana was touring through Bulgaria and decided to pay Baba Vanga a visit. It is said that the mystic wouldn't even glance at the songstress during their meeting and only looked out a window. And when she did eventually speak, Baba Vanga said, I do not want to speak with you. Not now. Go and come back in three months. As Silvana went to leave, Vanga turned and said, Wait, in fact, you will not be able to come. Go, go. If you can come back in three months, do so. Silvana died in a car accident a short time later. Chapter 5 Into the Beyond Baba Vanga is claimed to have predicted thousands of years into the future. She prophesied that at some time, hundreds of years from now, human beings would live on Mars. People like innovator Elon Musk and several projects from his company SpaceX or NASA might be making that happen very soon. But Vanga's Martian prediction doesn't stop there. It's also reported that she claimed that this future Martian colony would become very powerful and demand independence from Earth. This, she said, would lead to an interplanetary conflict. But that's not all. Vanga is also claimed to have predicted that humans and aliens will one day assimilate fully understand each other and live forever. She also warned that the search for extraterrestrial beings would lead to disaster and claimed that the universe would end sometime close to the year 5000. Vanga also reportedly predicted World War 3 would ensue between 2010 and 2014, with Russia coming out on top. Unless we are living in an alternate reality, we believe that this isn't the case. You see, Miss Dorian, it is often hard to tell what is what with Vanga. She never actually wrote any of what she said down. It was often transcribed by other people. And, as you may suspect, all of what has been said could have just been made up. Vanga died in August 1996 from breast cancer. She was 84. Her funeral drew large crowds, and to this day, Baba Vanga imagery is used widely throughout Eastern Europe and Russia. You can even visit where she lived, as her home is now a museum on Vanga Street in Petrich, Bulgaria. And it's there that the people who knew her tell a very different story of Vanga. In fact, what follows upends almost all of what we have spoken about her thus far. Chapter 6 Vanga, as told by those who knew her. We live on a fairy tale street, says one neighbor and friend who knew Baba Vanga closely. This comes from a Google translated 2010 article on Bulgarian news site 24 Casa. It features close friends and neighbors who say that a lot of what is reported about Baba Vanga is made up. Referring to a prediction that the world would go to war in 2010 and other prophecies attributed to Vanga, her friends said the following. What kind of war? Vanga never made such predictions. Someone invented them, then others repeat them, and so people are stressed. They speculate on her name because everyone believes her. Another says, we have never heard her say, get ready, this is the end of the world. Her friends say that Vanga helped thousands of people, but never spoke of Armageddon. 
they described her as a moralist and devout Christian woman who was the scorn of adulterers. She was said to be an optimist who advised people on how to live better. Reading that, one thing is clear, Miss Storian. Baba Vanka was no merchant of doom to those who knew her best. So what does that mean for the other prophecies attributed to her? Well, we'll leave that up to you. <laughs>